were in the car uh, for an hour and 30 minute drive back from Long Beach. We're shooting an hour long documentary about an opera based around the soldier's time in Fallujah. <sighs> Traffic sucks, man. Yes, it does. But I'm wondering we if we chop this thing up, it's like we did here. But we might be putting clouds up there too in the sure. foreground. Sure. For the past two weeks, we've been building sets and we started to film. Having fun. <coughs> we actually filmed on Thursday night. Matt spent a lot of time kind of going over the footage and seeing what worked and what didn't, which has been really nice to be able to be like, hey, this wasn't exactly what we were looking for. This isn't big enough. We ended up building out the set even larger because we wanted more room. With the water derricks, we needed one that was more detailed. Mark kind of went in and built us just an amazing water derrick that we can really shoot up close. And we reshot on Sunday night and it turned out great. It is insane the difference and how much better it looks. building the inside sets now. I built the desk. We wallpapered it. Got the molding on and got that pretty much 90% done. Melissa built the clock. The clock is just cardboard, hot glue, and maybe some foam. And it really turned out amazing. She also did the cash register, which looks awesome. It's pretty cool because it's just made out of a Cheerio box. When you're funding a production on your own, it really helps when people can build things out of household items. It really makes life a lot easier. Mark started building the huge mountain. We just kind of plastered that up uh, and we'll be adding kind of the moss and all the grass and stuff uh, later this week. We also are reshooting some scenes from the trailer that we did on the patio. So we are rebuilding those sets. Now we have more room so we can actually outfit it to be a little bit more comfortable for the puppeteers. We lost Mark after two weeks. He had to go back to Iowa. Um, but what's really cool is that we're still having him build things and we're just kind of shipping them back and forth. It's been really nice to have like Melissa, Mark, and Amanda there and all of us building and being able to be like, hey, let's make this exactly what we want it to be and, and not cut any corners. So it's great, it's really fun.